This video is brought to you by premiumbeat.com. All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about animating a world map that allows you to add custom points on the map. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film and welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So this is actually a really quick tutorial because it's very easy to animate a world map because the only element that you really need is a world map like the one behind me as a vector file, which you can download for free. I will drop that link below so you can have that file. But before we jump into our tutorial, I wanna say thank you to premiumbeat.com for sponsoring this video. Premium Beat is a royalty-free music provider for your creative video and motion graphic projects. They have an extremely popular library with thousands of songs to choose from, and they have a very easy in-depth search and menu filter system that allows you to quickly find the best songs for your video. So for your next video project, be sure to check out premiumbeat.com for your royalty-free music. All right, here we are in Adobe Illustrator and we have our world map. And of course you can download this for, for free from freepix.com and you can see there's a variety of different world maps that you can download for absolutely free. So once you have that downloaded and in Adobe Illustrator, we can customize some of these things. So real quick, like if there's any extra, you know, like obviously we don't wanna have this airplane or the design by freepix.com. Uh, we have to just quickly get rid of that. So first things first, we want, what we wanna do is select everything and go to object and click on ungroup. And you can see now we can start selecting different elements. That's gone. Um, and if everything's selected, just continue to ungroup. Now delete that plane and delete the logo. So now we just have the world map here and bam. And what's nice about vector objects is we can zoom in and it doesn't lose any fidelity. You know, and this is why we just need like a vector file so we can you know, have all that fidelity so we can move into, you know, smaller portions of the map. You know, we can also come here, delete the background just because those extra elements that we don't need to have. And also, when it's all said and done, go ahead and file save. And then we'll jump over here to After Effects and we'll grab our Illustrator file and we'll bring this into our project. And here's our AI file we can bring into our main comp. And one thing we need to do is come here to the layers and we need to make sure that continuously rasterize is checked on. So now we can just, you know, zoom all the way in inside of After Effects. If you have this unchecked, it's gonna be pixelated. So make sure that's in there. So boom, now we have our world map in here. And one thing I want to do is go to layer new solid and we'll just call it background. And we'll put this layer obviously underneath our world map and I'm going to keep the solid a white color. And nice. Now we have a good setup ready to go and we can start animating this. There's a lot of things that we can do. So perhaps you want to focus in on a very specific region of the world. Maybe you're talking about a specific country or you know something around a city. No worries. So let's say we want to zoom in here. And, you know, the good people of France, it's your lucky day. We're going to use you in our tutorial. And, you know, here we are in Europe. And let's say we want to just highlight some of these countries or whatever. Uh, we we want to do all of our information first before we do any animation because then we can animate everything together. So I have this pin illustrator file that I quickly made. Um, and you can download one for free from freepix.com. And we can bring this illustrator file into our you know project so we can start highlighting specific points on the map we can scale this down and be like okay we're gonna put this here and grab the textile tool type out whatever text you need to do i'll just type out france awesome and then if i want i could add more detail in here so maybe i'll grab the rectangle tool and like i can draw out like a background here and put this underneath our text and just creating just a little bit of a design here, a little over the opacity. So I have this one pin set up and maybe I can add some more information if I want. All right, so I went ahead and just added a few pins in here just for example for this tutorial. And let's say we wanna be able to add a little bit more animation, perhaps we wanna make like a roadmap to each of these pins. So very easily, we just grab the pen tool, click on the word fill, set it to none, click okay. Click on the word stroke, go to solid color, click okay. And you can use any color you want. And simply we can just draw like a you know, a point there at that point, uh, at that pin, go to the second pin, click another point and go to the last pin and we do our third point. And now we kind of have this roadmap here or, you know, this line and we can make it a little bit thicker and we can go into the shape layer four, go to add and we'll do a trim paths and we'll open the trim paths one, we'll set the end to 0%, add a keyframe for it, move forward to maybe the end of the animation, I'll say like five seconds and We'll set this to 100%. And we'll make them easy, easy keyframes by hitting F9 on our keyboard. And one thing we could do is go into the stroke and we can set the, where it says dashes, just click the plus symbol. And now you got some dashes there. That's really cool. I'll actually make the stroke a little bit smaller. 
And then let's go ahead and put this layer underneath everything except for our world map. Nice. And then we can have our second pin come up at that point. And then we can have our third pin come in at that last point. So obviously you can animate, you know, as much stuff as you want. You can add much detail and do what you want to do. But I want to animate the overall world map now because, you know, this is a world map tutorial. So what we'll do here is we'll select all of our layers, make them 3D layers. And, and let's go up to layer, new, null object. And let's grab all of our layers and let's parent it to the null object. And I like using a null sometimes over a camera because the null is usually a lot simpler to use. Um, and we'll come here to the null object. We'll open this up, go to transform, and we can add a keyframe for rotation, scale, position. Um, and of course, make sure it's a 3D layer as well. And come here to the end, you know, and we can animate this any way we want. So if we want to scale inward into the map, no problem. Uh, if we want to rotate this, uh, at least the X rotation, we'll have to add a keyframe for X rotation. Uh, and then. You know, nice. Now we can kind of get this view. You might need to scale up the background so you don't have any black borders. So now with our overall animation, here's what we have. And everything is coming to life. And it's really up to you what you want to do. There's a lot of other, you know, free maps available with local maps. I highly suggest taking a look at Video Hive where there's a ton of these individual animated templates to where you can actually have a lot of individual control over specific countries and even states if you are doing anything in the United States. So I will drop those links in the description if you're looking to save time while producing great work. So now you should have no problem animating a world map or even a local map for your own work. So hope you found this tutorial insightful. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description and always be creative.